Good morning, my name is Jeff. I'm a Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 29628 Northwest Evergreen Road here in Hillsboro, Oregon. We're located at the rear of the home. There's a four inch ABS clean out. This will be the point of access. I'm going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Currently have a, a sink running inside. Here we go. Okay, and here at uh, 41 feet from the point of access, we have reached the terminus for the line. I'm going to get the water turned off. Okay, the line's now totally drained out. I'm going to go ahead and start reeling back. Uh, I may reel back. So it looks like the line's lost grade all the way up to the terminus here. The uh, entire PVC section, when we came out originally, there was about three inches of standing water in it. Um, so. I reel back here just a little bit. See how it looks now that it's drained out. There's still a pretty decent amount of standing water in there. I mean, the lines, the line has water going through. There's about two or three inches of standing water. I'm going to mark at either end of the PVC. I'll mark right here with a green T, and then I'll mark at the beginning with a T also. Those are both transition points. With green paint, it'll be the uh, rear of the house, and I'll uh, mention the location and depth of that here in just a moment. Okay, located right here, marked with a green T. We're at the uh, terminus for the line right now. Line goes straight to the uh, and terminates uh, just shy of the uh, back fence, about six feet from it. It's up on the uh, there's a little terrace that builds up a little higher. It's uh, six feet deep. I'll reel back here to the beginning of the belly here, it's the entire PVC section, which isn't all that big. It's from 38 feet to 41 feet. And I'm going to go do a marking here as well, also with a green tee. Okay, I did uh, locate here. I'm getting some kind of uh, discrepancies in the, the locations uh, of either end of the line. Uh, my markings aren't lining up with each other uh, like I like them to. I'm getting around 6 feet to 6 feet 10 inches deep in depth. It's kind of bouncing around. Um, so I do highly recommend the repair guys relocate uh, so they can double check the markings. Because right now uh, my locator is just bouncing all over the place and it may have something to do with the standing water here. They can affect the uh, signal. But it is, uh, it terminates on that little terrace at the rear of the property. I've marked with the green tees, but you'll notice um, they're kind of cockeyed to each other and not lining up perfectly like I'd like them to. So, repair guys need to uh, relocate before they dig, but the uh, the depths I'm getting pretty consistently are about six feet to six feet ten inches in depth. And I do recommend uh, regrading this PVC section here. It's about a three foot section of pipe. Okay, and here's the other spot that I'm concerned about. You can see uh, all the debris that's building up on the side walls there. It's uh, really thick. There's about an inch to two inches thick of debris built up here. And the reason is uh, the line's lost grade. 
also called a belly. I'm going to kind of let the water settle into place here. The camera moves it around. And I'm also going to uh, recommend a spot repair here at the beginning of the line uh, to correct the grade as it's uh, causing a lot of debris to build up. When that happens, it does two things. The debris catches uh, more debris. It kind of builds on itself because it, it's kind of sticky stuff. Uh, but the other thing it does is it shrinks the diameter of the pipe. So you go from a three inch pipe uh, down to uh, two inches or an inch and a half and uh, it makes it much more likely that you're going to get a blockage there. So it's just, uh, you know, half the diameter of the pipe about is lost. I'm going to reel back here to the very end of the belly where it dissipates out. It looks like it's right here at 10 feet. I'll mark either end of the belly uh, with a green X. I believe the belly goes all the way back to the clean out or really close to it. So I'll mention the depths here in just a minute. Okay, I've marked here with a green X. The uh, line goes, there's a little uh, planter area with river rock and stuff. It's right uh, before the uh, river rock meets the uh, grass in the backyard. And it looks like it's going to span this little planter area. It's uh, 4 feet 2 inches deep here at 10 feet out at the uh, end of the belly and the line. And we'll get back here to the beginning of it. Looks like it starts here about one foot from where I zeroed out the camera at the base of the cleanout, so it's just beyond the cleanout. It's about a nine foot uh, section of pipe. And I'll do a locate and mark. It'll be right next to the cleanout here. I'll mark with a green X. There's an X at either end of the repair. And then I'll push to the middle of it just to give an idea of where the uh, line runs. Okay, just right next to the cleanout here, uh, there's a green X. It's also at four feet, two inches deep. Same exact depth at either end, which explains why there's a belly. It's lost its grade. It should go deeper, deeper, deeper as it goes. And then I'm going to do another marking uh, here in the middle just to show the direction it's going. I'll just do a green line here. So I do recommend uh, two spot repairs, one to correct the grade from 38 feet to 41 feet, and one uh, another spot repair to correct the grade from 1 foot from the point of access to 10 feet from the point of access. They're at either ends of the sewer line or opposite ends. Okay, the repairs are now mapped out. The uh, belly at the beginning of the line, um, I'm very confident in the uh, locates and markings. At the end of the line where the belly is at, at 38 to uh, 41 feet, uh, the locates again were coming in kind of all over the place, and uh, it, I wasn't getting uh, my markings to line up with each other. So I do highly recommend the repair guys relocate that so they are digging in the right spot. I know it's in that location, and the depths are uh, pretty spot on. Uh, it's right around 6 uh, six feet eight inches deep, but I think it's worth relocating whenever you're digging that depth. 